Hey there folks, today we've got something a bit different. We have a Burroughs adding machine from the 1960s. Before electric calculators came along, you had these things. These are called adding machines. And these are entirely mechanical, there's no electric parts in these at all. If you were someone like a banker or an accountant, someone who worked with money a lot, you would usually have one of these on your desk. These became popular in the late 19th century and for pretty much the entire lifespan of the industry, Burroughs was the biggest name in it. They were the most popular maker of adding machines. These remained in use until about the end of the 1960s when they started to be replaced by electric calculators instead. This particular one isn't completely working, but it works well enough for me to give you a demonstration. This one is made for monetary calculations, decimal. These two rows on the far right are your decimal places. And then you've got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and tens of thousands. These two black reels here hold the ink ribbon. It goes across these hammers here. You can't really see it, but on the other side of these hammers are a bunch of numbers. The ink goes across the hammers, makes them nice and wet. And then when you pull the handle, the hammers will press the numbers onto the paper and print them out. You use this wheel here to move the paper. This is where you put the paper in. On the back of it we've got this here, Burroughs Machines Limited, Strathleve in Scotland, made in Great Britain. Now as I said before, this machine isn't in perfect working condition and it can't actually do addition and the four function buttons here are jammed, but it still does work well enough to print out numbers, so let's do some of that. Let's try $234.20. If you need a zero, you just leave the row where the zero is untouched. Hammers aren't the best either, but there we go. Try a big number. Let's try $66,544.35. cents. Five didn't seem to work there. Let's do the highest number it can do. Do try printing out the date that I'm filming this on. Right now it's the 8th of September. So we'll try 08-09-21. Mm, that didn't work well at all. Try 98,765 dollars and 43 cents. 